Good afternoon, this is Trey with BuildIdaho.com. Today we're in the north foothills of Boise and we're going to tour Idaho's second lead certified home with Mark Hickson of Earthworks Construction, Earthcraft Construction. First let me give you an outside look at the home. And uh, once again we're in Foothills, Boise, north. Um, this house is on a hill and as you can see we have got a great view. So we're going to get a tour of this home with Mark and he's going to tell us some of the ins and outs. All right, Mark, we're in the backyard, and one of the things about LEED is, is innovation. And you get points for having innovative ideas, and this one struck me as pretty innovative. So let's quickly just point out what we have here. We're on a back wall. Tell me about this wall. Well, first of all, we had to retain the uh, back wall of the hill of the, of the project. And typically, you do this with landscape blocks or poured-in-place concrete walls. But in this case, because we needed innovative points to pick up LEED points, um, we use recycled concrete from sidewalks. That's amazing. So this is this is someone's sidewalk, and instead of sticking in the dump, we used went, it. That would have went to the landfill. Yep. Very cool. All right, let's keep moving. So oh. anyway, this is our uh, part of our rainwater harvesting system to collect all the rainwater. So the everything from the roof goes into a, a spout, and all the spouts lead to a, a piping system. Thank that you. Goes to two fifteen hundred gallon tanks that are used for the uh, drip system, for the automatic irrigation system that lasts about till the middle of June depending on the rainfall. So they get a couple months of free water and uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark, we moved inside the house and one of the things about LEED, of course, is innovation. So point out some of the innovative design that we have in this great room slash kitchen area. Well, we have the airlock entries. The main entry to the house is a uh, Air, uh, airlock with a damper. So air, uh, airlock just means that there's a, a preliminary room that you enter before you come into the main house. Right. Conditioning and physical. And then this is another airlock entry. That the main entries to the house are set up so that you're not letting cold air in or out. And then we have the convection air system that works with uh, all the bottom windows and the lower part of the windows being operable. That's also calculated with the overhangs orientation for sun control. And then we have the automatic skylights. And so you get a convection air system and these, uh, the clients are absolutely amazed at the lack of air conditioning that they have to use during the hot months of the summer. Lack of air conditioning, that's great. That's a great problem to have, especially <laughs> in the desert. They do have to use it on the very hottest days, but uh, not very much at all. Tell me specifically what, what parts of the home make that make this home as efficient as it is. Well, it's, it, there again, it's, it's the, it's, you start with a concept and then it's a process of working through all the pluses and minuses to orientate them to, to the end product. And you try and do that on, with the design stage as much as possible. But typically, with a, uh, this was a, a pilot leads home. And so a lot of these things had never been tried before. Well, you, w with my background and experience, I was able to employ that into the uh, practicality of some of the ex experimentation, and that's what it was, experimentation, that we were doing with these different concepts to come up with innovation points and scrutinize the, the lead points that were not cost effective. And how long from uh, between when you met the client to... Certificate of Occupancy. It was a little over a year. I was in uh, design phase a little. I have four phases of construction. I have preliminary design, working drawings, construction, and warranty. And in the uh, in the construction uh, drawing phase, we were a little longer than normal because we wanted to. That's where all the uh, efficient economics were in the project. And how many? Uh critical points were there in, in terms of being in, in the foothills? Well, there's lots of critical points in the, the foothills ordinances uh, uh, rules and regulations that you have to deal with, but I've built lots and lots and lots of houses in the foothills, and so I get along pretty good with the foothills boys. And good. <laughs> all right. Let's move on. So this is a piece of tile, and this is, this is all throughout the kitchen, but Mark actually took time and did his own engraving. So this 
tile runs through the kitchen and it's uh, engraved by the builder, Mark Hickson. Yeah, that's so. All right, Mark, I appreciate the tour today. So Idaho's second, and this is going to be a gold LEED certified home? Yes, sir. Um, and per currently, I, I asked you to step into the pond area there, so we have a, a water feature. But below you are the holding tanks. Right. So everything that comes off the roof... with this barrier to keep cars from driving on them, because there are two 1,500-gallon plastic water tanks. That's amazing. So the entire roof line feeds into a piping system that comes down here. Well, we appreciate the tour today and congratulations on the LEED Certified Home. Who was the inspector? Who helped you do the LEED certification? Ted Doobie of On Point. Nice. Well, we're glad, glad he could help you out. Thanks for your time today. Tell me again, what's your name? Mark L. Hicks. And how does someone contact you if they would like more information? 866-3325 or my website is www.marklhickson.com. Thank you.